Okay, so we're going to look at common logarithms again. And to solve a logarithmic problem with decimal answers, first we want to isolate the variable by taking the logarithm of both sides of the equation, determine the property to be used, and then solve. So we still have these three properties we've been using now for you know quite a few of these videos. Um, again, if these do not look familiar to you, go back and you know watch the first couple um, property videos because it walks you through them a little bit slower. Uh, so um, this says solve for y in the equation below. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Do not round any in intermediate computations. So that means don't round until you get to the very very end. Okay, that's what intermediate computations mean um, because that can cause um, kind of a, a domino effect of rounding if you round too early. Uh, so just be careful with that. So we're going to determine the correct um, logarithmic property to apply here. So first we need to take the log of both sides. So um, we're just simply applying the log to both sides here. Um, and now we're going to rewrite it um, in logarithmic form so that we can see it. So now we can see, um, hopefully we can see this um, starting to form here where I have um, the the log of, um, oh, okay, so now we have rewritten it, um, and we're going to move the logs to one side, because remember, we want to isolate the, um, the logs to one side, um, it, it said variable up here, but really should have said logs, so I'm dividing by log of 7 on both sides, um, and I didn't show you that, but that's I took the log of 7 from the left, and I've divided it by left and right. So I have log of 6 over log of 7, and then 3y is left on the, the left side there. So now we can see the, the property that's going to be applied here. Um, and I'm also dividing both sides by 3, although I'm moving um, this kind of separately so that it's 1 third, um, because this is the way we're going to type it into the calculator when we do this. Um, so now you can still see all the, the same work here. I just moved it down so that I could um, type it into the calculator. So this is what the calculator looks like on Alex. So I'm going to have log um, with a, it's a base 10, right, with 6. And then the 3 is on the bottom. I don't need to put the 1 on top because um, 1 times you know, the log of 6 is not going to change anything. But I do have 3 times the log of 7 on the bottom. Um, and then when I hit equals, this is what will pop up here. And make sure it said round to the nearest hundredth this time. On a previous video, it said thousandth, so they do change their minds on that one a little bit. So um, the nearest hundredth, so I have ten hundred thousand, so I go to hundredth. So it would be 0 0.31 because that six would round us up there. right? So make sure you're paying attention. If you typed in 0.3, you would get it wrong. Um, Without the zero, it's going to give you some grief about that, but it's not going to mark you wrong. 0 0.3 would be, you know, the correct way to say that. Um, but it would be 0 0.31 to get it correct. Alex will be picky about the rounding there, so be very careful about it. All right, so that was um, solving um, a logarithmic equation and still kind of paying attention to those properties that we've been looking at now for the, the past couple weeks. I hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.